Hello everyone and good morning, if it's morning when you're watching this. First off, I apologise for the way I look. It is currently meant to be autumn. I was already for autumn and England decided to sprinkle on us a bit of 29 degree heat today. So, you know, I've got no makeup on, I've got a sweaty upper lip. If you can see all the sweating crevices throughout this video, I apologise. I have the house to myself today, which, you know, is a bit of a rare occurrence. So I thought I'm going to clean the house, adult things, bring you along with me. I don't know why I really enjoy watching these kind of videos. So I thought I'd film one myself because the house does need cleaning. Apart from Alex Hoover yesterday, so don't need to do the hoovering. And he also did a load of washing. So the washing basket is literally like empty, nearly. I'm hoping if I film it, it'll give me some kind of motivation to keep on gabbing because I am sweaty and I should not be cleaning. Really hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and we're just gonna get into the mess of my house. First off, this is the area that we are tackling. It's a mess. Right, this is what ADHD looks like. I just made the bed in the next room, like moving on, you know. Why have I left all of this all over the floor without knowing? Like, how does that happen? <laughs> I feel like I'm doing this in a weird order, but bear with. Um, I'm actually going to fill my cleaning caddy to take upstairs for when I do the bathrooms, which is the worst frigging job. Today we're going to be using this light. These things are great. Oh, that glass cleaner I need. Pink stuff, always. Shower squeegee. Um, is that everything? Yeah, because I've got to go up two flights of stairs, this is the best option to just fill one of these and be on my way. Put sponges in there as well. I'm gonna mop now, let go. bathrooms and because we've still got the bloody wood on the stairs I need to mop every single step as well. I am getting a carpet very very soon. See you shortly. This is my new favourite thing in the world. And you know, adult life is really getting to me when things like this excite me. So this is the Scrub Daddy dust dampener, something like that. Um, you've probably seen it before, but I'm gonna show you how it works because having a black ensuite, like you can probably see, the dust just piles up so quickly. Like I only wiped this about three days ago and it's like this again. So, um, yeah, that toothbrush needs cleaning as well. But yeah, 
I'm gonna show you how much it collects. So we, you just have to wet it and then start squeezing it. Then you start squeezing it until it gets to like a spongy texture and then wring out, whoops, wring out all of the water. It's all the dust. As you can see, it started to compile. It's just genius. It's great. It's really hard to do this with one hand. Um, can we just talk about my plant? Why is it not focusing? Look at her. She's huge. I'm just going to go down the sides. Oops. To get the dust off. Um, I'm just going to go around the house. And, well, around this floor. Oh my God, I hate this room so much. And do all like the windowsills and stuff with this. Alex's plant's dead. And I've just got stuff just everywhere. Um, so yeah, this isn't the most satisfying part. Oh, it's a mess in here. You can go upstairs. These are my leaving presents from work. So precious. The water has been changed in the flowers. It's my little set up here. How cute. That's all for Binnant. What is this? I'm sure I only did this like two days ago. shower handles because they get dusty as well that is ridiculous i bought these from b&m um a few weeks ago so i'm gonna try these in the toilet don't know if you want to see this but i'm intrigued it actually smells really good um so you're supposed to pop it in leave it for 20 minutes and then brush then flush or something so, is it fizzing? Oh, it's doing something down there. Pink stuff is actually addictive. So I do try and use this like every week or so just to try and keep on top of all of like the dirt and stuff that's hard to get. sweaty mess i've been trying to scrub that shower for like 20 minutes and i've realized it's just i think it needs like the ceiling pulled off then redone again and um, that is not the kind of expertise i have so i'm just gonna have to cope with it looking not so clean but it is actually quite clean shower screens are like the bane of my life i hate doing them um, but I did say on a Facebook page that if you put shaving foam on the shower doors, leave it for like 15 minutes and then I think, I can't remember what they said, I'll have to read it. Um, it's supposed to like get them spick and span. So I'm gonna see if it works. So this is how they're looking, um, so I'm going to leave that for a bit, but I am going to clean this, um, so I'm going to get all of this crap off. As you can see, it's like really water stained, but I also see a hack for using glass cleaner. They actually have come up quite shiny. I'll take that hack. I'm going to quickly clean the windows as well, because when they condensate, they're like grim. So yeah, let's clean the windows. For this part of the screen, I'm gonna use the Pink Stuff Bathroom Foam Cleaner. And I'm also gonna leave that to sit. Oh, 
I'm gonna use this on the toilet. Uh, by the way, this smells so nice. It's that like bubblegum scent. Oil. I am gonna see if that fizzy thing has done anything. This is a brand new toilet brush. I don't know why I just told you that. Scrub the toilet. I mean, it looks clean to me. They're actually quite good. Let's see if this has worked. I think my cloth's too damp. Bloody hell. Alright, I will report back. Okay, how... Sorry, ignore that mess. It's obviously going to be put away. How clean and gleaming is the shower? Definitely recommend that hack. So obviously, it's the shaving foam. Leave for 15, 20 minutes and then wipe with a damp cloth. And then I actually put the shower and like ran the shower over it and then squeegeed it off so there was no watermarks. But you know what? That is the best the shower's ever looked. So shaving foam is where it's at. And so to finish off in the ensuite, I am just gonna quickly wipe down these tiles um, just to anti-back them. Um, but yeah, everything else is clean. Clean, clean, clean. It's clean in here and I'm just gonna wipe down the bath because we don't use this, so just getting rid of all like dust or anything that's settled on with one of these. The bathroom's done. I'm gonna just wipe around all the tops of the house and then uh, move on to the middle floor. So you can come with me to the middle floor. So it is clean in here. I've just wiped everything down. Like I said, it got hoovered yesterday. So yeah, I've just plumped the cushions a bit. I need some new cushions. I just hate them so much. Nice and tidy in here. I feel like it's still too hot to be burning the candle. So I am just gonna flick this on this is the free evolution um smelly things and it literally makes the whole house smell amazing so i definitely do recommend those if you like don't feel like burning candles and um, so yeah we're going down i'm gonna wipe down this bathroom um we don't use this as much so it's not like it needs a massive clean i'm just gonna use this again moving on to the kitchen uh, i'm just gonna spray down all the surfaces and then i usually just wipe them with a kitchen towel we do this literally every day anyway, so it's not like it needs too much of a clean. And then I will wipe down the kitchen cabinets as well. This smells so good. Oh no, it's Wilco's. That means you can't get it. That smells. I'm going to wipe down the kitchen cabinets. I'll just give them a good wipe down because they always seem to get stuff on. I am going to disinfect my sponges. Chuck them all in there, boil in hot water and then chuck this in. So yesterday I went shopping and I bought a new work bag from Primark. It's really floppy, like, she's floppy. I need to empty this, but I am gonna show you what I got. Um, that's my purse. I did not know Primark did the bigger sizes in like a few of their cute bra sets. Look at that, I've never had a set like this from Primark that's in my actual bra size. For seven quid, I've always had to pay like so much for them. I mean, that's a steal. Got this little squirrel. How cute is he? Just pop a little candle in him. And I don't know how much he was, but yeah, he's cute. And they finally had the mushrooms in my Primark. I've been wanting one of these mushrooms for the longest time ever. Um, I just really like them. There's something about mushrooms this year that I think, you know what, they're cute. That will be coming in a Decorate With Me For Autumn video because I've actually bought quite a lot. It's a bit embarrassing because my house is like hardly decorated, but I'm buying autumn things. Priorities. That is it. The house is clean. 
Um, I haven't done like a deep clean everywhere because I am going to a wedding today. So when I do want to just spot clean, I usually just spray, wipe, you know. Um, but yeah, like the, the majority of the house is clean and the shower obviously is clean so it doesn't need doing for another week, whatever. I haven't ate yet, I'm hungry, I'm gonna get some food and I'm gonna sit in the garden because look at the sunshine. I mean, it's inviting. I'm gonna finally grab a coffee. I'm gonna put all my cleaning stuff away. I'm gonna chill. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. My voice has gone weird. If you want to see some more house content and come clean with me, whatever, um, let me know. This one might not have, ah, oh, that was hot. This might not have been very good because it was my first one and you know, like positioning the camera, it's a bit of a faff. So yeah, hope you enjoyed anyway. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.